Hello my soccer universe, the Euro 2020 draw is in the books and first things first, I think we have a valid draw. There's only one, you know, the playoff spots, there might be some changes, we don't know quite that, but I think overall we will have the draw as it is and by the end of March we will know all the participants. So that's good, hope you like my background, the order of the shirts you will will make sense a little bit later. I'm wearing a jersey that I should wear a low way more often. It's my Netherlands 2014 home jersey. That's probably my favorite Dutch jersey that I own and one of my favorites ever made. Just wish that this was a flag color. But yeah. How am I gonna do uh, this? I wanna give you my reaction. I thought, should I go through the minutia of the draw? I give you my live reaction? No, uh, because you know, the kids were around and there's not much of a live reaction. So, um, no. I'm gonna go give you the draw, but I do it pot by pot so you will see what how pot one, two, two, three, four are made. And let's go through it and then I'll give you my thoughts while this is happening and on the groups themselves. And we'll take it then a step further too, because in order to really validate the draw, we need to see how this might pan out in the actual tournament. So let's start out. Here we have, you know it from my draw preview, or my mock draw, um, the playoff paths, how they were drawn. You have the four groups and the uh, places that are uh, the groups are played in. Uh, in darker blue um, shade are the teams that are, are the uh, home towns of teams that have already qualified in a lighter blue, some that might qualify. Note Bucharest and Budapest since Romania and Hungary are the same playoff path, playoff A. It's either the one or the other, so we will have uh, at most 10 host cities with the home team playing. Uh, there and in the pots I also marked the teams that are already um, that are host nations and that may qualify or not. So let's empty this and here we have all the open slots. I will keep the playoff paths open because uh, we will need this. Uh, we have the pots. The first pot that we will look at is pot one and this is what the draw yielded. We have Italy in the second spot in Group A, meaning they anyway would have had the, um, the opening game, but we have the nine second spot, meaning there will be the away team in that game. Belgium third spot in Group B, so they will have a nominal home game uh, at first, although it will be a way to either to either St. Petersburg, uh, either Russia or Denmark. Ukraine uh, in second will have also have an away game. Then England will have a nominal home game in Group D. Uh, group E also the um, one of the host nations is the seeded team and surprisingly uh, Germany uh, was only given the fourth uh, spot. Again it is only for administrative reasons they will be the away game in the first and I think also in the second and the third they will be the home team, uh, the nominal home team. So that's what it came out. Uh, the first one of course is interesting now pot 2 and we knew that the nuclear option pot 2 with Netherlands and Russia, especially the Netherlands already put in group C and Russia already put in group B. Um, France was the one that was the nuclear option because we knew that they would play either Italy, England, Spain or Germany. And it turns out they were the last one out and it's Germany. So Italy, Switzerland, I think the Italians will be quite happy with that. Belgium, Russia, we knew that ahead of time. It's the same as Netherlands, Ukraine. Uh, we also know that Belgium, Russia is the first matchup between those two top teams and the same goes for Netherlands, Ukraine. We can already know quite a few more. England, Croatia is the first matchup in Group D. As Paul, Spain will be against Poland and France will host in Munich, Germany. France, Germany, and Munich, we had it in the Nations League, just note that. Of course, France, Germany already, that's a pretty big one. And at that point, I'm also thinking, you know, since in pot three, we had Austria. What pots would I want to be in? If I look at the um, uh, opponents, 
the France Germany group was highly unattractive, although it's very attractive uh, given that it's playing Munich and Budapest, so it would be kind of um, very easy to travel to for Austrian fans, but having France Germany in there is just a killer. Um, then on the other side, what would I have liked for Austria? Italy, Switzerland looks good, but Rome and Baku, especially the Baku part, I didn't like at all. Um, Netherlands, Ukraine was not my favorite. I actually thought in Spain, Poland, in Bilbao and Dublin, that could have been nice as well, although it's a little all west. So maybe Amsterdam, Bucharest is kind of the runner up in terms of geography to Munich, Budapest. Well, let's see what pot three got. We have Turkey in the opener against Italy, and they will be the home team. So Italy probably will play in white, well maybe red against blue, UEFA didn't do that. We are in new group B, that will Belgium, Russia and Denmark. Denmark will have a home game, we also know that Denmark will host Russia in the last game, where Russia is actually the home team, the nominal, it's in a complete mess. Um, Austria goes with the Netherlands and Ukraine, so um, actually it wasn't... You know, when it happened, I thought, oh, that might not, not be that bad. I don't think we have a chance against the Netherlands. Uh, Ukraine, I don't think will make much either. But we also know that there will be a playoff winner in there. So that is nice. The Czechs, again, against England and Croatia. That's an interesting group. Uh, Spain is probably very happy with uh, um, Poland and Sweden. And Portugal goes in Group F. So both nuclear options, France and Portugal, go into Group F. I didn't expect a group of death. This is the group of death. Uh, we don't need to talk much about it. And then we add to it that it uh, play of A winner most likely goes in there, unless it's Romania. And it really becomes um, a very, very interesting group. But the what saves those three teams is that the four best third place teams will also advance. And I actually think that this might still happen for them. So um, let's finish the draw with um, pot four. Wales goes in the Italy group. I think Italy will be quite content with this group. Give them all three games at home and all opponents that I would say are about the same strength. But you should at least get seven points from those. Finland joins Denmark, Belgium and Russia. I think for them this is actually a slam dunk because they don't have to travel far. And you know, uh, Denmark, uh, Russia, Belgium, that's an attractive group. Um, Austria's group will now, and this is now the um, key, and the flags are not 100% correct here. I just want to have four here, four there. So uh, if Romania qualifies, they play with the Netherlands, Ukraine and Austria. Uh, otherwise, it will be the winner of the play of the path. Kosovo can go into this one. So there are actually five teams that can play here. I personally would hope that Romania does not qualify because that actually is a really nice uh, draw then. Um, in Group D, we get the playoff path C, which can be quite interesting in there. We could get a Croatia-Serbia matchup if Serbia should qualify. We also have uh, Norway and most uh, excitingly would be uh, Scotland. Group E, we get the playoff path B, where, yeah, uh, is, an, is definitely an interesting one. Uh, one that for me is wide open and then F, I have only four flags here, um, but Basically, it is um, Bulgaria, Iceland and Hungary for sure in there. And then it could be all the play of the uh, winners too. So there are, you can add, there are seven possibilities here. It depends on Romania, whether Romania qualifies or Hungary qualifies. You know, if Hungary qualifies, uh, that's easy then. But Romania is the one that can flip-flop the draw. Uh, that's the only part. So looking at the groups, as I said, I think Italy and Spain will definitely be happy with the draw. I think the Dutch will also not too, be too unhappy, honestly. Germany, Portugal, France, very unhappy. England uh, faces, I think, a uh, kind of toughish draw, but given that you play all the games at home in London, I think you will not be too unhappy either. So this is my first thoughts on the draw. Um, I have to say that um, looking at it, it looks all, I mean, there's one group that's completely unfair, it's group F, but everything else looks kind of uh, even and they're clear favorites. What I want to do now is to actually really evaluate the draw. Let's 
predict the tournament. And this is my personal, I'm not even saying prediction, it's my gut feeling of who will go where uh, without disparaging anyone, just uh, seeing how I would see it. And for that first, we have to decide on the play of winners. I think in play of path A, Hungary will beat Bulgaria and Iceland will beat Romania, and which takes care then of uh, the draw there. And Iceland will overcome Hungary. I think Iceland is the best team in there and having at least one Hungary, I think they can win away from home. Play of path, path B, that's the one where I'm least uh, sure about it. I think that Bosnia will overcome Northern Ireland, that is tenaciously quite easily. Slovakia Island is a toss-up. I would give it to Slovakia and I have a feeling that Slovakia will beat Bosnia. Just gut feeling, but uh, to me almost any four, I can't even see Ireland despite having two away games uh, do, uh, getting out of that one. Uh, play of path C. I, I think the most talented team in there is Serbia. However, I think Serbia away to Norway. I can see Norway doing damage there. So I will pick Norway. Scotland will beat Israel. That is in the Nations League already. And then I think Norway will uh, go over Scotland. Um, and the play of path D. Again, Kosovo is the... I think from the qualification, Kosovo is probably the strongest team, but they have two away games. And for that reason, I think Georgia will beat uh, Belarus. Kosovo will have kind of with Northern Macedonia a little bit harder pedal. And then I think Georgia will uh, beat the Kosovo. So we'll get uh, Georgia in Group C, we'll get Norway in Group D. If this happens, Slovakia in Group E and Iceland in Group F. And as you can see, I have no ball them because they are not yet qualified. Okay. How do I think the groups will end? And notes also the color coding for the um, uh, host cities then in the um, knockout tree. I think Group A, Italy, and then it's, to me, those three are really hard to distinguish. I think that Switzerland is the best team in there, and between Wales and Turkey, I just chose Wales because they have uh, two bigger stars in there, but I can as well see Turkey finishing second in the group. Group B, I think Belgium is the strongest team. I give then I think Denmark can beat Russia uh, at home, although they're the nominal away team, makes sense. So I think Belgium and Denmark, then Russia and Finland. Netherlands, Ukraine are the two best teams in Group C. If Austria would have a good coach, I think Austria could uh, challenge Ukraine. I'm just afraid it will not happen. England, Croatia should be the best teams in Group D. For some reason, when I watch Norway, I actually like what Norway is doing. So if Norway would qualify, I would give them a slight edge over the Czechs. But, you know, again, between Norway and Czechs, take your pick. Uh, Spain, Sweden, I think Sweden will be stronger than Poland. I, Poland, Poland has a lot of talent. I just think they're always disappointing. That's why I'm not putting, the, I put Sweden ahead of Poland. Sweden is more cohesive. Slovakia, if they would qualify, I think are the last place team. And Group F, because they have all three games at home, Germany and France just ahead of Portugal, uh, which puts on Portugal in the third spot. And now the big question, of course, is who do I think uh, are the four best third place teams? was a lot of going back and forth, especially do I think that Austria is in or not? And when I looked at it, yeah, I think again, groups D and E, it has more chance that uh, they will finish with three points or less. And so I say groups A, B, C and F are the ones that are the advance. And so we'll get the following three and uh, actually quite an intriguing one. We would have Germany play Austria, Croatia, Sweden, Belgium, Wales, Italy, Ukraine, Spain, Russia, England, France, Netherlands, Portugal and Switzerland, Denmark. Uh, that's basically the order in the three. Now, once we have the three, let's finish uh, the predictions. I think that Germany will beat Austria. I think that's not a surprise. Croatia will um, beat Sweden. I think Croatia has enough talent. Belgium will exact revenge on um, Wales. The game is played in Bilbao. I think Belgium will do that. Italy, Ukraine. I think Italy is a talented enough squad to make it past the Ukraine. 
Spain, Russia. Again, I think uh, even with it played in Glasgow, I think this is uh, Spain should win this one. England, France. Uh, here I was very conflicted, but um, I think it's a rather even matchup, especially since France, I if they decide to show up, they can win anything. But then I look at where it's played. It's played in Dublin. I'm giving England the edge. I think England um, has a convincing enough squad. Netherlands, Portugal. This is a matchup that the Dutch do not like. Remember the Nations League final? That was the Nations League final. Netherlands, Portugal. And to be honest, I think Portugal will have the Dutch number again. I think Switzerland will outlast Denmark. Um, even though the Danes will have a bit more of a home game because this is played in Amsterdam. So that sets up the quarterfinals. We have the first one, Germany, Croatia, played in St. Petersburg. Still, Germany. I think we'll make a one. Croatia could pull off an upset, but I think it's Germany. Belgium, Italy. I think Italy is not yet ready to beat Belgium. Uh, which is funny because four years ago I thought the same thing and then Italy quite easily beat uh, Belgium. Uh, Italy can hurt Belgium. But I think Italy is not quite there yet. In four years' time, I think Italy will be ready. But I think I will give it Belgium just by a hair. Just by a hair, also England over Spain. Um, Spain, I think, has slightly more even talent. But I don't like that Sergio Ramos is back there. I think Spain has not found yet they're quite the ridden. Given that England beat Spain in Spain, I think England can pull off an upset here again. And... I will give it to England and Portugal, Switzerland, I don't see anything but Portugal. So Portugal, despite me predicting to finish third, is already in a semi-final. In the semi-finals, Germany, Belgium, hi, 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 hi. I think Belgium. I think the toughest test that Belgium will face is Italy, not Germany yet. So Belgium to the final and between England and Portugal. Um, England. And for the main reason, it is played in London. Note so far, we have Belgium, England. I have Belgium, England in the final, as I have here in the back. That's why I arranged it this way. Um, note that England has a very soft draw. They have three home games. If they win the group, they play in Dublin, which is not far away. Then the first away is Rome, if they are in that uh, branch. And so then they play at home in London. Now, Belgium, England. Normally, I would favor Belgium any time of the day. There's no question about that. However, this is played in London. England will have traveled probably much less. Uh, when I look, uh, Belgium has to play St. Petersburg, Copenhagen. They have to go to Bilbao. They have then to go to Munich. So, I think that will have an effect. I actually think that England, the far stands, England has more or less a home Euros. So I'm saying England will win it. So you see a little bit how it plays out. Uh, as, I see, as I see, if you're third in the group, uh, you still can make it far. In the case of Portugal, I think the groups are kind of weirdly set up, especially the Switzerland, Denmark, you know, group A and group B against each other. There are some few things that I find quite in in interesting, uh, especially the group A and group B. The winners are on a collision course. I think Italy, Belgium, that's one that you can put down. Um, also, the Netherlands might get a third plus team, but if there's one from Group F in there, then you're suddenly not favored anymore. So, um, if the Netherlands will beat Portugal, I think they can go all the way to the semis, to be honest. But so be it. Let me know. So, these are my few thoughts on the draw. Let, let me know what you think about the draw as an Austria fan I'm happy as an Italy fan I'm quite happy I don't necessarily like the Belgium matchup and as a Dutch fan I'm also happy so those are my three I think I'm overall quite nice um, I have to say the Germans have lost their luck for many 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 draws the Germans were always the lucky ones suddenly they are getting always in the group of death but they play at home so I think Germany will at least make it among the top two anyway let me know your thoughts below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.